going on guys today's video is for the gli um as you saw in the last video i have low oil pressure i already changed the oil pressure sensor and it is showing still low oil pressure so i'm thinking it might be an oil pump uh so here we have a package from euro tuning let me pop this open as you can see we got an oil pump careful with that we got all the um, hardware gaskets and stuff that we need. New oil uh, pickup tube, some gasket maker, and down here we have a new oil pan because mine is dented. And along with that, we have some new 5W40 Rotella T6, a new oil filter. I also have to do the O2 sensor as well upstream. So got one of those. Let's get in today's video. All right, drained all the oil out, as you can see. And I gotta take out all these oil pan bolts. I believe they were T35s, which I, this is literally the one Torx bit that I don't have. So I'm gonna go ahead and go find one of those. And then you're gonna have to separate the oil pan, probably give it a couple taps, and then get to the pump. All right, all the screws around the oil pan are off. Kind of hard to see under here, but it was actually a T30, not a T35. Um, I just had my bits in the wrong places in my toolbox. One was a T20, uh, so it didn't fit. Um, so now I gotta either hit this with a mallet to take it off, or I have an oil pan separator tool, which I just shove in between here and smack it a couple times and it'll pop off. All right, I got the oil baffle pan off. I got the oil pump off. It's all over here. Um, there was very minimal shavings in the oil pan. Uh, there's what seems to be a few tiny little pieces in the pickup tube, which may have been restricting oil flow. There's some sludge in there too. So that could have been it, but let's put in this new pump and hope for the best. All right, so I got the new pump here. I put the uh, O-ring inside for the pickup tube, new bolt. Uh, we could either prime this, um, put a little bit of oil in it so it doesn't have a dry startup, but I think what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna crank the motor by hand first so it spins and gets some oil in there. Um, or pull the fuel pump fuse and then try to crank over the car so it don't have a dry startup. All right, so the new oil pan is on. I torqued these bolts to good and tight. Uh, as you can see, a little bit of this uh, Permatex is overflowing, which is a good sign. I had to run to Volkswagen Coconut Creek because my oil pan did not come with this block off plate for the uh, oil level sensor. So I had to go buy that, that was 44 bucks. Um, I got the oil pump in, I got the baffle pan in, I got the baffle in, all the gaskets, the new uh, um, oil pickup tube. And yeah, hopefully it's good. We're gonna wait an hour for this to dry. Uh, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and do the upstream O2 sensor. And yeah, and I actually think I know, right. I think I know what caused the uh, low oil pressure to happen. So this is part of the oil baffle pan. It's a piece of plastic. If I go to the other oil pan, which I have right here, let me flip the camera. Right, so as you guys can see, there's a nice little dent right here that's not supposed to be there. So uh, on the other underside, you can see it's dented in. Uh, that cracked my oil um, baffle pan and caused, as you can see, there's little pieces right here of plastic to get sucked up into the oil pickup tube which I have right here. You can see there's little pieces of plastic and I think that's what was causing the oil pressure. So don't dent your oil pans. If you do, make sure you drain it out, get a new oil pump, oil uh, pickup tube. And yeah, I used the other baffle that I already had. I just made sure I cut off all the broken plastic pieces. Um, it wasn't, really like for re-diverting the oil is more of just for the um the structural integrity of it 
but it should be fine. I asked the guy at BW. Um, so yeah, this pump may still be good. Ooh, actually, no, that sounds kind of... You hear that? That doesn't sound good. So I'm not going to use that. That's going to go in the trash. Let me go ahead and get back on this. All right. I am beat up. It is hot outside, but everything is done. Oil change is done. Oil pump, all, everything that's what I was going to do is done. Oxygen sensor, done. Time to turn on the car. I also, before anyone says anything, I cranked the motor by hand to get some oil through the pump. So that's done too. So it's not going to be a dry start. Hopefully we're all good. All right. Close this. Let's see if we have any errors. Top up wash fluid. That's it. No oil pressure. That check engine light I'm going to clear right now, along with that steering wheel light and the bulb. Let's see what those are. But right now it's only showing me windshield washer fluid. All right, so, the recording? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got my little assistant in the car recording for me, taking it for a drive. I'm gonna do a quick pull. My baby soon. Yeah, it is gonna be here soon. Alright, as you guys can see, it came back. At this point, I don't know what it could be. Any ideas? No. <sighs> Time to take it to Volkswagen. Alright, guys, so I just got back from German Tech Automotive. You can see. Um, they did a test on the car. Oil pressure was way below spec. Um, so this motor is a fucking lemon. I don't know what I'm gonna do from here. Uh, I'm either gonna sell it or try to find a new motor and replace it. But I just don't have good luck with motors at all. So. I just, I can't, I can't get a break. Um, might just ride it to the wheels fall off. Might uh, bring it to CarMax and see if they can offer me something for it. Try to sell it on the marketplace. I don't know. I, luckily I didn't waste too much money on this car. So, I mean, if I, even if I get a couple hundred bucks out of it, I guess I didn't lose too much. Um, but it is still unfortunate, you know, I wasted about three grand on this car already um, Two grand buying it and then a thousand for the paint job and you know Maybe like 300 bucks in maintenance not that much, but it Is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead Give it a, a thumbs up support the channel because it helps me out a lot uh, I really do want to grow with this YouTube thing, so keep smashing that like button. Keep up the support, guys. I love all of you. Have a good day. Bye.